Joining me here is actor Lena, who has just announced her marriage to group captain Prashant Balakrishnan Nair. So, the first thing I really want to tell you is congratulations. And were you actually waiting for the prime minister to make the announcement so that you can make your announcement? Thank you for the wishes. And uh, yes, I was waiting, but not so much like I was eager to um, share the happiness and the joy more out of duty because it seemed uh, like I was having to keep a huge secret, like something very hidden. And that was the truth. It was a secret because of the confidentiality of the program and because his name was not supposed to be disclosed. And me being a celebrity, we felt it as a huge pressure uh, to keep this big information under wraps. And so we were living very, very quietly. And I'm glad that now finally it's out in the open and I can live a normal life again. So um, how did this actually happen in your message? You said that it was on January 27th. So just tell us how did this actually happen? This is January 17th, uh, 2004 was the Muhurtam. It was a very good date and uh, being an arranged marriage, Jadagam and everything was checked and we were given that as the best date possible. And, uh, and then later on the dates are, weren't auspicious actually. And so we said, okay, we'll go ahead with it, but we'll have to keep it very small and keep it very quiet. And yes, so we had a very small wedding with only our parents attending, actually. Uh, even our families have not been able to attend. Um, neither Prashant's brothers or sisters, neither my sister, nobody was able to attend. So all that were the sacrifices we had to make uh, due to the confidential nature of Prashant's job. But we are very honored by what's happened. So, how did you meet him? Can you just tell us a little bit about how this whole thing turned out? <laughs> That's a beautiful story. Uh, in, um, I think, August end, I gave an interview that went viral. And that yeah, interview was regarding my book, uh, The Autobiography of God. And I spoke a few things just uh, that I have never spoken about generally, like uh, my interests in uh, Vedic uh, um, studies and about my spiritual uh, understandings, about a lot of things that I don't usually talk about in interviews. And this went viral beyond anything I thought was possible. And then what happened is uh, next, the first good thing that happened out of it was I got a one hour slot at the Sharjah Book Fair. And immediately after that, I got the Penguin deal. Penguin co contacted me because of the virality of that content. And the autobiography of God has now been uh, taken up and is acquired by Penguin Random House India. And the third best thing that happened, which is actually now tops the list, uh, is Prashant Balakrishnan Nair happened to be watching that interview on YouTube. And he said, oh wow, I've seen her as an actress in the movie Spirit and all of that. And yes, but now this is someone I vibe with spiritually and intellectually. And so he was interested and then he got parents to get the number. He got my number from some of his friends and gradually I got contacted and then parents got talking and then the wedding was arranged. So the memes and trolls were going, doing their duty, but it actually helped you. I am so thankful <laughs> to all the meme and troll pages and for the viral content. And now uh, when this news has come out, it's even more viral. And I want to take this opportunity to thank all my friends in media and all the friends on uh, in the audience who have given us their blessings and have been so very positive throughout. Thank you so much. Now, Coming to Prashant Palakrishnan Nair, if outside nobody knows much about him, what can you tell us about him, about Prashant? Um, I can tell you about my husband Prashant and as a person, but I cannot tell you anything about the astronaut Prashant or the fighter pilot Prashant much because one, I don't know too much about it. Uh, second, it is confidential information. And third, they have very strict protocol, especially because our respected Prime Minister Modi ji himself announced on the day when he uh, awarded them their astronaut wings, the Gaganyan wings, he said, I want media to keep, leave them alone and I want them to stay out of any kind of uh, celebrity status as such. And so this is being a delicate situation because I'm a celebrity, but I'm his wife. So we'll keep aside all the questions regarding the technical de details that only ISRO or in the Indian Air Force or the government should be uh, disclosing. 
but as far as talking about the personal side um i can tell you how with just a short time of being together we are so um what do you say we are so one and the same person almost we sometimes feel like uh, we are the male and female version of one soul because um i had been single for 12 years and i never thought i would get married again because one reason being a spirituality which i had delved into very deeply which i now have written in the book the autobiography of god and uh, i never thought i would vibe with someone spiritually because that is a very delicate balance to have the same spiritual ideology the same understandings and then i realized that prashant is also into uh, vedic literature and is a meditator and we have such lovely conversations based on spirituality we meditate together so that is actually the foundation that uh, gets us together and the second uh, beautiful thing we have is our love for art and movies and uh, i got to understand more about what a fighter pilot's life is because he took me for the movie fighter uh, on republic day and he showed me he said see what rithik roshan is doing in the movie his uh, his call sign it's called his call sign is uh, patty in the movie rithik roshan he said mine is papa nair so he is called papa nair that's his call sign and um, the other lovely thing that i got to learn from the movie he showed me the movie and he explained each thing so i was also sword of honor and i was at tejpur i was a commanding officer of the sukhoi squad and all of that stuff and so actually i got a little master class through the movie fighter and so each moment it has been brilliant uh, and also there is this huge new experience of the air force life uh, which is so different and so i i can't say i know much but it's a very different world so i'm really glad that um, i found someone who vibes with me um, on all areas and he's a very big uh, we say in malayalam padipist <laughs> like we are perpetual learners both of us so that was another thing that i was not sure whether i would vibe with someone who wants to always learn something new and i keep doing online courses and learning a lot of technical skills like maybe script writing it may be uh, cooking it may be uh, public speaking it may be something or the other and he does a lot of certificate courses so he is a, a double post graduate he, he was a first rank holder from the us air force staff college uh, international training um, so he has uh, a post graduation from the us as well so he has two uh, pgs and one mphil and an mtech and he just goes on and on uh, so that buddhi jeevitaram also works well for us we both like reading a lot we both like the same kind of music uh, and all kinds of music and we have a lot of little quirks and we are both foodies so <laughs> and he's teaching me this beautiful skill you have seen how fit he is i saw everyone saw how fit and uh, trim they have to be for their project and he taught me that you can be a foodie but you can eat food it's in the style of plating it so you take small portions the way the japanese eat like in those little bowls like that those little portions so you don't miss out on the taste but you don't eat in quantities so hopefully i in the next 3 to 6 months i might turn a little slimmer hopefully <laughs> so what do you know about the mission or the training that he has undergone uh i don't nothing about the mission actually because it being confidential and classified and uh, information and having to maintain all the protocols that they have to uh, he doesn't really talk about it even at home we don't talk about uh, the any of the confidential information and i'm somebody who just uh, says if it has to be confidential don't even tell me because i don't even want it to uh, escape my lips in any way so i actually don't know anything i'm just very proud of the whole mission and i'm like yes wow i'm as, as excited as anyone else uh, but as far as the training goes i know that it is very rigorous and it is a training on every level uh, it's on their physical health their mental health their emotional health the overall well being of the person is taken into such stringent training uh, protocols that they are being literally shaped into superhumans and i think it takes superhuman uh, resilience and capacity and grit to be able to withstand uh, the whatever is required of them to be out in space that's as much as i understand from the whole process i know that it's very deep and intense training uh and uh, all this is the training is in india or i mean if you can, uh, as far as i know because i have been married to him only a month so <laughs> just about a month now so i don't know much about their uh, trainings and i i know as much as anyone else does
about it. They have been trained uh, abroad and they have been trained in India and all of that. This is such a prestigious mission. Everyone is excited about you. Also said that you are equally as excited as everyone. But <laughs> yeah. are there also concerns for you uh, because uh, it's your partner there and uh, what happens next? So are, are there concerns? A lot of people ask me this, including uh, friends and relatives, saying, "Aren't you scared?" was the question, or "Are you tense?" And that answer, I think, that is why actually Prashant. Uh, chose me to be his wife because he saw my spiritual maturity and I think that is what connects us. We both believe in destiny absolutely that what is meant for you and what is driving you like whenever we feel called to do something it's because that is calling us it's our calling and so uh, it is destiny unfolding and all the great things that happen in our life are things that we couldn't have done even if we wanted to if there wasn't a force working within it. And so we both have absolute trust and faith and belief in the process and in just doing our part 100%. So there is no fear whatsoever because we all fear the worst as human beings and the worst according to a human being is death. And we see death as a natural process of life because any one of us never knows anything about the next minute. So why worry about something just because it's so big? Uh, yes, there are risk factors and as far as I see, Prashant, he's a warrior. He has been in the military and in these forces and been a fighter pilot, which is, I think, more dangerous than anything else they're doing. And he's done that for decades. So I have absolute faith and love uh, for him. And we just totally believe in destiny. Uh, just one more question. Can you tell us a little more about Prashant's family, his siblings, like... Are they also into uh, the foes? What is it? Uh, Prashant's uh, parents live in um, Palakkad. So uh, they are very simple, uh, very humble people. Um, Sri Balakrishnan Nair and Pramila. Um, his brothers uh, are Pradeep and Praveen and his sister is Pratibha. Uh, none of them are in the forces. And they are a very close-knit, very... Uh, supportive family so he is very blessed to have a very supportive and loving family and now the extended family is as proud my parents T Mohan Kumar and Tina Mohan Kumar are so very proud of their son-in-law I think they've, they've always been proud of me but now he has kind of uh, stolen that <laughs> and of course he has a very very proud wife Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Luna, for speaking Thank you to so us. much. It was lovely and such an honor to be on CNN. Thank you.